I pledge allegiance I pledge allegiance the Pledge of Allegiance with commentary by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson, illustrated by Chris Rashka. <laughs> Rashka. I pledge. A pledge is a promise. Allegiance to. Allegiance is loyalty. The flag. A flag is a symbol that stands for a place, a thing, or an idea of. Making a promise to a flag usually means the same thing as making a promise to whatever the flag stands for. The United States. Each state has its own name, its own song, bird, and flower. Its own favorite food, some of its own laws, and even its own flag. The United States is one country made up of 50 states and several territories. The United States of America. America is a big body of land made up of two continents, North America and South America. All but one of the U.S. states are part of the North, a part of North America. The island state of Hawaii is in the South Pacific Ocean. Why our flag isn't orange and pink? Hmm. Here we go. Red, white, and blue. Red is for courage. White is for purity and innocence. Blue is for loyalty and fairness. In 1818, lawmakers decided that the U.S. flag would have 13 stripes for the original 13 colonies and a star for every state. United States of America and two. Okay. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't they be surprised to learn that the flag would one day have 50 stars. Wow. The Republic. The United States of America is a republic, which means that we, the people, elect leaders who make our laws. Things you can, things you can do while saying the pledge. Stand at attention. Look at the flag. Place your right hand over your heart. If you have a cap or a hat on, it is polite to take it off and place it over your heart. To the republic for which it stands, <clears throat> one, did you know that the Pledge of Allegiance was written especially for children? It was written by the man by a man named Francis Bellamy. Mr. Bellamy published his poem in 1892 in the children's magazine, The Young Companion. That year, 12 million students said the pledge together as one voice to celebrate the 400th anniversary of Columbus's arrival in America. One nation. Our states and territories have, have bonded together to form one nation. One nation means one country. Under people, people of many different races, cultures, and faiths call America their home. One nation under God. Many people believe that, the democracy, that a democracy is a reflection of how God thinks. Every single person is important. Indivisible. Indivisible means unbreakable. No, our country cannot be split into separate parts. With. No matter how much we might disagree about some things, we all agree on one thing. We are stronger when we stick together and help each other, and help each other out.
Liberty. Oh, like our school. Liberty is freedom. What is liberty? Freedom. Every person who lives in this country <clears throat> has a right to be free and to make his or her own choices. Liberty and justice. Justice is fairness for hmm, all Americans have the right to be treated fairly by our laws. So liberty and justice for all. <laughs> there we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The United States of America is a country built on some big ideas. This is true. Unity and variety. Fairness and freedom. Creativity and equality. America grows and changes as the world changes, but we always try to hold on to the principles of liberty and justice for all. The, America, the American flag is a symbol of who we are as a people. The flag stands for our history, our inventions, our music, sports, literature, faith, and the hopes and feelings of the American people. People like, who do you think? You. People like you. The end. <laughs>